Simon from simonwood.com. I have an Australian Pinot Noir uh, in front of me, uh, to the side of me. Fourth dimension Pinot Noir from the Adelaide Hills, I thought I said 2010, I think it actually says 2016. Uh, made by uh, Taylor's Winery or Wakefield or whatever, whichever you want to call them. Uh, it's Taylor's in Australia, it's Wakefield in the rest of the world. Um, so um, let's just give it a whirl. Well, um, there's a slightly minty eucalyptus edge to, to this, and it's a juicy, uh, ripe berry, and um, some the veer, veering towards the slightly stewed character, not uh, so not that really pure uh, pinot fruit that you get in, in, in some wines, but here, uh, yeah, just slightly, yeah, slightly cooked into the medicinal. And similar flavours, there's almost a touch of toffee there, but then the finish you're left with has this slightly bitter edge. And I don't know whether that is bitterness of um, grape tannin or a touch of oak tannin there. There's something toasty lurking in the background uh, that I'm not sure whether they, uh, they needed. What I would like to have seen was, um, it feels like the person who uh, makes this doesn't make Pinot Noir all that often. It feels, like, it feels almost slightly controlled, uh, as if they've been afraid to uh, let it run. Uh, so reasonable flavours. It, it felt it smells like the fruit was uh, um, pretty decent quality, ripe but not too ripe, and, um, and that mintiness, that eucalyptus edge, is there, but it's not absolutely uh, it taking over the wine. I don't I don't like it when it takes over the wine. If it's just a component, yeah, that's good. But I would just like to to have been uh, uh, the fruit to be in, in the hands of someone who's not afraid to be a little bit hairier and gruntier and gnarlier. So, okay, but, um, and it's not a dark price, I think it's about nine pounds, so can't complain at that price, but uh, I think there was a better wine to be made. So good, but could do better. See you soon.